Hello there ladies and gentlemen and today we are taking a look at another video and in this video we are going to replicate the thing that we are having here more or less. This skyscraper is in Bangkok, it's made I think by a Swedish firm as far as I know, the Mahanakon. And we are going to create this in Grasshopper so stay tuned. Okay, so we are having here our basic canvas. So I'm just drawing out the basic idea how we want to approach this. So first of all, we're gonna have a very simple rectangle like this. Then we're going to um, make a division in this rectangle like that. And like those. And then we are having individual pieces basically on this rectangle like this, like those, like here, and another one like this, and another one like this, and continue on. And then those get moved upwards and duplicated, so that one row will be here, one row will be here, the next row will be there, next row will be there. And then dependent on a certain thing, so basically we are having a like those things like this, right? And we are having a spiral around it that moves basically like this, right? Drawing skills are excellent, obviously. And then those then determine on those because there are cubes here all the time, right? And we see, okay, this one is close to the spiral, so I want this removed. This should go, this should go, this should also go. And this one should stay, this one should also stay. So you basically like we do like like a check mark, check mark, check mark. No, no, no. Yes, 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 and so on. And so this is what we're going to create in Grasshopper. It's a very simple script in a way. So um, first of all, we are going to create a spiral. So we're going to do this by simply creating a point that's gonna be from one point and then gonna move to the sides. And then this point gets rotated around the initial point like this. And uh, we have a, like a certain angle to it as well, like this, you know, um, something. And then it gets projected here, 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 and so on. And then this point then also gets moved upwards to the Z direction. And then we are having basically our spiral. So we're going to do this uh, basically now. So we're gonna just use a point for the, our basic point like this set one point so you want this maybe here and we are going to create a rectangle like this and we have this one there and we're gonna give it also a size so they probably like 10 gonna be enough well i think that's gonna be fine okay good now we already have our basic well rectangle i wanted to make the spiral but okay let's make the spiral as well and actually we can create the spiral like this we're just gonna take the area because we're gonna have it in the middle of the spiral like this and we're going to um, move it to the x direction like this move to x and we are having it so we are going to move it to into like a certain number to the direction x hopefully like bigger than the rectangle we created like this, so the point will be the centroid of that. And you see the point is like over here. And we're going to rotate the point around now and around this point here. So we are having the basic geometry, which is this one. And then the plane which would be, would be the center point there. And now we have to create a series as well, which is a series that goes like around this. Well, actually, before I do this, I actually do the this, so you can see, you don't, you don't have to do that. So you see the things better. So I'm going to create uh, uh, steps and I'm going, like how much it goes from each to the next one. And we are also going to create like how many one of them. So we're just going to go with 101. And so we do with the angle. And here we do the, well, we just leave it like this for now. And we're going to put this at the angle command and then right click the angle and put degrees on there. So this way, um, it makes more sense for now to use degrees. 
So now that we have that, uh, we also want to move them upwards. We're just going to use the move command and we're going to duplicate the series. And we're going to keep the number slider of this one, but we're going to copy the angle and we're going to use like the uh, height in between spiral. We're going to name it like this and we put it in the step counter. And now we are going to use the Z, unit Z function, put it in the motion of this and then geometry put it upwards. And you see it's already going up there, but it's quite high, but we want to reduce just a little bit like that. Nice, and you see now if we increase those, those point widths get increased as well at the same time. Very well. Now that we have that, we um, have to also give it a curve. So we're going to use a uh, curve spline and then NURPS curve. And now we have like a curve surrounding it like this. Great. Now that we have that, we want to create those uh, rectangles that I was talking like around here. So we are having our basic uh, rectangle like here, right? And we're gonna just use the divide surface commands and then the surface gets like divided into like equal pieces like this uh, because it like it it creates a surface out of it and then it makes like divides the surface and we're going to use a number slider for now it's just going to be equal like the same like you in the v counts or in the x and the y direction and um we also have to give them rectangles now as well so the plane will be that basically and it needs to be um the size of this is determined by the size of the rectangle and the size of the of the division. So we do it. We do the division count like here, and we're going to use the uh, x y size base like this, and we're gonna divide it by that amount because we want to have the rectangles just like right next to each other. So we're going to divide the basic amount by the amount like this and we're going to put this in the x and the y size. And now you see we have our very nice rectangles here. Great! And now that we're going to just hide this for now like this and you're just going to clean this up a little bit. Now that we have that created, we also want to create some rectangles uh, like the boxes itself. So we have the rectangles here and you see they're already quite big and I want to have them like the same size like this and like that. So I'm going to just put them in here. Great. Now that we have that, uh, I want to move them upwards. So I want to move them upwards as much as the spiral is like tall, like this, as you see here. So this would be the size itself would be the, um, actually, I think we can just use this one here, right? Because the steps, uh, I think, no, but it would be different because we are using the count, the count times the steps. Yes, that's true. So we're going to multiply that. So those are the counts number and we, the height in between the spiral things. However, now that we have this number, uh, it doesn't really fit with the number that we have uh, for the sizes of the rectangles here. So we're gonna divide this as well. So we are having the size here and we're gonna divide the um, size of our spiral by the sizes in Z direction of our things. And this would give us a slightly higher number because it's 0 0.9. That would be the amount of times it can be moved upwards to kind of fit the um, spiral thing. So we're gonna use a series that creates uh, that amount of steps and the step uh, like taken, like how much of a step we take, it's determined again by the size of the thing. So now we have uh, those created here and we want to move them upwards. So you're gonna use the move commands and gonna use direction Z. And then we see this will look quite weird for now, but we just have to graft the motion as far as I know. Um, no, not really. Let me actually double check that. Ah, yeah, we need to graft the boxes itself. So now that we have each of the boxes then moved upwards, 
um, simultaneously. I would just remove, uh, it decreases a little bit. Okay, nice. Now it's actually like this like pin tower in New York as well. So now that we have that, we also want to create this kind of like shape, how it goes around and like um, it removes some of the pieces and bits. So this is very easy to do um, because right now we already have our spiral around here. And if you just gonna move around our spiral a little bit, you see like this increase and decreases the size. And maybe we wanna, want to decrease the tower size itself. Or we want to, um, well, decrease that, but this is irrelevant for now, more or less. Um, but we also might want to, for example, that also might be a thing because I have the angle, like how much I am rotating it. So I can just have it like this, you see. And in the example, it's, I think, just like one, like what goes one time, like here. So it's just gonna be like one total rotation, more or less. So I think we have it like this. And now we are having our basic uh, curve like this and our boxes like here. But we also need the point of the boxes. So we're gonna just use the same thing that we had here, but we're gonna just drag and drop in the geometry points here. So we wanna have the points because from the points now we want to make a, we wanna pull the points as close as possible to those curves and then we determine depending on the distance which of those points we're going to remove so we have we're going to analysis and then there will be curve closest point this one here and the points are those that we have here and the curve is the one that we have there and you see it just like puts it completely fills the curve up but like they, they get all like moved there. So if I were, for example, if I make a line between those two, it will just like create those lines like, you know, all the way like this. And we are, we, but we, what we want, because we also have the distance here, we're going to remove um, certain pieces that are smaller than, or maybe larger, it doesn't really matter which one. Um, then a certain number. So we have like a dispatch, like a, like a, um, like a way of saying, okay, this one stays, this one goes, this kind of stuff. So we're going to use um, the, like a number, simply just like maybe 11 something. So you can go around and we name it like which ones to remove, I think. And those then get their, this now gives us basically a pattern of which one like is like okay this one is cool those are cool they're all fine okay they're actually and there are some like uh false in here i think hopefully as well um yeah wait let me just yeah for example let's see here now there are like some false some true so we just want to remove a few of them so we're going to use this like as a dispatch pattern on the box that we created before and now when we are going to Hide those things and we're gonna use a geometry from like the list A that gets produced. You see it creates a very nice geometry that we have here but if I'm gonna use the other one you see it creates more or less what we want but I think if we want to just decrease this a little or increase this a little bit you see this looks like a little bit more something that we want to have here and I think we can actually make this look a little better if you're going to yeah, increase the angle like this. Yes, perfect. I think that's like almost it actually. Yeah, that's really nice. Yep. There's kind of like a little bit more stuff going on there in, in the in the middle here, but I think so far this already looks pretty good. Good. And yeah, I think now we just did a custom preview and give it a color as well, um, like gray. And like this here and there. And if we put it in the Arctic mode, we will have a very nice shape here as well. I think I just leave this on to be honest. So yeah, I don't know, PC is a little bit laggy, but I think that's fine. Yeah, and I think that's like a very great way of um, making your design. And like now, for example, if you have. Uh, if you want to change your design around quickly, so it's, okay, you know what? I want to remove a few of those pieces here. 
or increase a few or have just a complete like a slab almost you can very easily do that and actually let's just let me switch just to the shaded view because this is like way too laggy for my PC at the moment you see you can just like remove a little bit of those here and you can just play around with the shape and let me just actually put this one here in the beginning and like this as well yeah and now you can just take a look at the design and you say okay this might be like better you can obviously change this back and forth and like increase and decrease the height while still remaining the the size of the of the cubes that we have because we had to define this in the beforehand right which one is actually one isn't that one like over there or something oh, okay this is determined by something else or I want to have like more with the more divisions for example have a little bit more kind of detail to it as well which would make it a little bit more laggy but which is fine and uh, yeah I think it's actually quite fun to like play around with that so that's pretty cool great yeah I hope uh, you liked that video I hope it helped you out in your design in a way and that you know you know what to do now maybe if, if you want to know about this building and yeah have a great day uh, this thing's also in github so you can just download there as well and um yeah see you in the next one and have a great day